Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at Round and Round by Rat. So, you know, there's two guitar players here, just, you know, two rhythm guitar parts that are going on. A lot of the times they're doing pretty much the same thing. Uh, there are a couple of instances where they're not. So I'm going to try to combine it so you can really do it with one guitar if you want and, it, and play along with the recording and make it sound like it. it's just a couple overdubs usually. Uh, except obviously for the, the solo sections, which we're going to take a look at in part two of this. So, so the next video after this, we're going to take a look at the all the Warren Martini solos. Uh, we're two and a half step as well, so make sure your guitar, every string is two and a half steps. So it's going to be E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat, and you'll be ready to follow along. All right, so let's start here with that opening riff that I just played. That's the chorus of the song and also the intro. So it's really cool. It kind of moves around a lot. Um, it's going to start here with an E major chord. So it's a low E open, 7th on the A, and then ninth fret bar across uh, the D, G, and uh, B string. And then you come down and start just kind of chucking around on the low E string. Now, every time they play through this song, they'll do it slightly differently. So um, sometimes you'll hear them, I'll really show you, especially towards the end, you can hear a little, little differences. But as soon as you get the riff on your fingers, it's really easy to just kind of mess around with it. So we have this. And then from here, we're going to turn it into an E minor chord. So we have just 9 on the D, 9 on the G, 8 on the B. And you're gonna, what you're going to do here is you're going to have a bar at the 7th fret there. And you're going to just pick up the little finger. So now it becomes 9 on the D, 7 on the G, and 8 on the B string. So we have this. You hit that twice, and then lift up the pinky. So. And now in this next one, you can go to this, which is just the bar, 7 on the D, 7 on the G, then 8 on the B still. Pick that once, and then back to the just the straight 7 bar. So it does the... So we have this. Now, you can choose that to do that way, or you can go ahead and try to shift back and get ready for what's coming up by playing those last two by doing a bar with your third finger, and then the little finger is going to grab the eighth fret on the beat. So that would be like this. Kind of getting ready for this next chord. So we're gonna, you're going to come back and grab the third fret on the A string, and then we have a big stretch. You're going to do a bar here. It's like a C major chord here, so you're doing that bar, the fifth fret on the B, G, and the D. But you're going to reach up and grab the seventh fret on the B string. You can just hit it, hit those two strings, the G and the D, and then back to the uh, the two, the fives. So we have this. So all together. All right, and now this is where he kind of varies it from time to time. You're going to now grab that seventh fret on the B again. So you're going to kind of go up. So we're going to start ascending by going. So you hit that seven by itself, and then the fives. Then move up to the fifth fret. You get the bar, the kind of the kind of chug along that low D, and, then, and that little eight to seven maneuver on the B string again. So we have this. And then we're back to this up in the seventh position. And it usually starts over by doing that. You're kind of doing the suspended. Where we have that E major chord, but we're having the tenth fret on the B added to it. And then going back to the just the three nines. And then it's the same. All right, so now where he varies it, sometimes when he'll go up with this little. You see, instead of going, he goes. So you got to watch out for that. Sometimes he'll just kind of change the rhythm. 
but it's always really the same fingerings in the left hand. So all together. So I think it's really good to kind of keep that low, uh, that muting going, that just those muted kind of really fills up the sound while you're going. So it requires some big stretches, obviously. It's definitely the hardest rhythm, uh, hardest part to play uh, besides the solos. All right, so then we get to the verse, which sounds like this. <laughs> All right, so this is where there's two definitive guitar parts for just one little part of it. So we're going to start with this low E open, then the seventh fret on the A. Back to the low E open a couple times, then the fifth fret on the A string. Then I went back down to the low E and hit that A again. That just right on the A string again. So we have this. Then back down to the low E. You see, we basically have a melody. And in between those notes, he's continually going back and uh, just kind of chugging on that low E. All right, so you just got to keep filling in the, the blanks. You can play the melody by itself. And then just. All right, so after we we're there, we're gonna do this. We're gonna pull off five to four to five on the low E string, then back to the four on the A string, then play seven, five, three on the uh, low E. And then come back and grab it. Now this is an overdub on the recording, or the second guitar player is doing it. So we basically just have a G power chord that sustains. So make sure you mute that A string. And everything else, third fret on the high B and the G, I'm sorry, the B string and the high E string, and the low E, open string on the D and the G, and then A string muted. Now while that's going on, you hear, So that's what they're really doing. They're just kind of just between three to five on the A, three on the low E to five on the A string, and then four on the A. So it's just kind of going back, kind of like a crazy train thing. And it ends it with a two open D, the open D and the open G, and then the second fret on both those strings. Now you can put these together by just playing it like this. Let this ring out. So while that was going on, there's a back one. You can just do this. That's by doing that big chord because it has such a it's so prominent in the mix, but still getting the. So you, you strum the chord and let as many notes ring out as possible. Let those open strings ring out, and then come back and do the that little. But you're doing it here. So, so it's just from the third fret on the uh, low E, the open D string, then back down to this note, and then the fourth fret, slightly a little finger on the A. So I'm just doing that off of that G chord. Same ending, and then it's repeated. So that's just trying to put those two parts together so it sounds good on just one guitar. All right, and then we make it to the pre-chorus, which sounds like this. All right, some really cool muting there. Um, so we're going to start here with a power chord, 5th fret on the A, 
seventh fret on the D. And then move that, hit that a couple times, a few times. Then move the first finger down to the fourth fret on the A. And the open A string. So it. And then she's gonna grab this A power chord. Well, basically, it's the A. Uh, you can make it's basically an A major chord, fifth fret on the low E, seven on the A and the D, and then sixth on the G. So you hit the three bottom three strings really, and then come up and do a muted, and you're just basically going up, up, down on the top three strings. So we have this open, open, and then that sixth fret there on the G. So you get it. Lightly press your palm down here. So I just do those three strings, then back to the high E strings with this. And then we're back to this E chord. So that's just that E chord. Then the 10 add on the B, back to the 9s, and then back do that again. So it's just that little rhythm of it. Then you repeat these same chords we did before. All right, so here, you're gonna pick these three strings, and then come and grab the, the, hit the fifth fret there on the low E string, and then move it up to the seventh fret, the same chord shape. And here, you're gonna do that same kind of figure again. So the picking figure there on this B here is the low E string, and then that same picking up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Just mute it. And then start it back over with the low E string. And then out of that, we just have seven power chord on the low E string, fifth fret power chord on the A string, to the seven that starts the chorus over here. All right, so now we pretty much have a, a little riff that happens, a little interlude section that happens towards, right before the last chorus. Sounds like this. All right, so that's basically just a, a B power chord here, the second fret on the A string. And you can have the two open high, the B and the high E string open. And then you go to an A suspended second chord, same thing. And then back to that B power chord. Kind of build up on it a little bit, and then you're gonna launch into the chorus by going, starting this second fret here, then five. And then when you get here, you're starting the chorus over again, instead of doing this, how we led into it earlier. Same chord, just kind of different position. All right, now the very the last chorus is a little descending line that's done differently by both guitarists. Uh, kind of sounds like this. All right, so that's the same uh, riff. When we get down to the third fret here, you're just gonna go. And that's just that power chord here, third on the A, five on the D, then go the A string down to second fret, A power chord, and then, then we have this, it's basically a G chord, and then just the second fret on the low E. So you have these open G and a D strings with the third fret on the B, with that third fret on the low E, and then just same thing, but now with the second fret on the low E. All right, the other guitar player, uh, oh, actually, had, starts over there. But the other guitar player, when he gets down that third fret, he goes. So that's a little different. So that little descending, how he does it. That's just basically. Um, 
third fret on the A, uh, A string, third fret on the B together. And you're going to mute that fifth string a couple times, then hit the open G and the B string together. Then the second fret down on the A string. Same thing as before on the these two strings. Then the A power chord, and then that's that kind of maneuver we did in the chorus, which is the bar of the seventh. You're gonna add the eighth fret there on the B string first, and then down to the bar of the seventh. Okay. Start the chorus over. So you can usually decide which one you want to do. If you have a second guitar player, he can play one, you can play the other, and it'll sound great. All right, so stay tuned for the solos that are coming next. I'll see you then.